G'day everyone, in this video I'm going to explain how to use the legacy anti-recoil mod that comes with the Taylor Drift Pro Aim scripts for the Cronus Zen. First let's go over what legacy anti-recoil is and how it works. Legacy anti-recoil is a very basic anti-recoil mod, it has two settings, one for vertical adjustments and one for horizontal adjustments. For those of you that aren't sure, vertical is up and down, horizontal is left and right. It can be used on all weapons but it does have its limits, for example if the weapon has a VLK scope or similar. I personally prefer to use progressive anti-recoil to get it a bit more precise. But for ARs without a scope or with a red dot, for pistols, for shotguns, for SMGs, Legacy is very nice. The way Legacy anti-recoil works is that when you start to shoot, depending on the values you have selected, the Zen will send controller input signals to your console or PC that you're actually slightly pulling down on the aim stick to control that recoil. That's all it's doing. It's simply just making your console or PC think it's you controlling the recoil when it's actually the Zen. Making the values higher will make the console or PC think you're pulling down harder on the aim stick. Now, we know that when we shoot, the weapon's recoil will go up. This can be controlled by the vertical anti-recoil values. Each weapon will also move left or right as you're shooting, and this can be controlled with the horizontal anti-recoil values. If the recoil moves to the right, you will need to move the horizontal values into the negative, to the left. If the weapon's recoil goes to the left, you'll need to increase the horizontal values or move those to the right. Now that I've explained how it works, let's get into some examples. All right, so here we are in a private lobby. I'm just gonna run through and show you how to set up legacy AR. I'll show you the process that you should follow uh, and what you need to do to make sure you're gonna get the right values for whatever weapon you decide to use it for. Uh, now, I'm using the Growl here just for this example. I will show some more weapons, so don't worry. Uh, now, to start off, what you wanna do is make sure your anti-recoil mods are off, okay? Uh, now, we wanna empty a clip at the wall here and see what the weapons recoil is going to do. So we can see this goes up and over to the right. Okay, so to combat this, what we do is we go into our mod menu, we turn legacy anti-recoil on. Because the recoil is going up, this means the vertical is going to need to be increased by how much we don't know yet. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll try it on maybe uh, 10 for the start. Let's try 10, no, let's try 15, try 15. Um, 10 just won't be enough. And then for the horizontal, it's going to the right. So let's try minus five because we want to bring that back over to the left. Okay, so we put the horizontal into the negative. Let's back out, let's save that. And let's try that here next to it. Okay, so small improvement, but we're going to need to increase those values to stop that recoil from going up and over to the right even more. So let's go back into legacy. Let's try 20 for the vertical to bring that down some more. And to move it over to the left some more to make it more central, let's move this up to minus 10. We'll save that. And let's try again here. All right, I mean, that's pretty good. But I mean, it's still a little bit up, still a little bit to the right. So we could try going uh, maybe 21 and maybe minus 11. Try that, see how we go here. All right, there we go. I know it's not exactly perfect, um, but comparing it to where we started from, that is a massive improvement. Uh, so let's try something else. Okay, so this time I got the Fennec. Uh, I thought I'd try an SMG as well to show an example with that. Uh, let's see what the natural recoil of the weapon is. Okay, so it goes up and starts going over to the left. All right, so what we need to do is go in. Let's turn legacy on. Let's go into the settings. Let's try 20 for the vertical to bring that back down. And it is going over to the left. So we need to move these horizontal values over to the right. So let's try 10. We'll back out, we'll save, and then we'll try this. All right, still a little bit up and still a little bit to the left but not by much. So let's go back in. We can start increasing these just slightly. So let's try 22 and still to the left. So let's try 12. Save and here we go. And I mean, there we go. That's, 
That's pretty good. I might start using that myself, to be honest. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try it with the foul this time. Uh, I've got the rapid fire on 15 rounds per second for this example. I'm going to go here, and let's just see what the natural recoil is. All right, we can see that goes up and over to the right quite a lot. Uh, so what we need to do is go in. Let's turn legacy on. Uh, let's go with vertical. Let's try 20, and it's going to the right. So we need to make sure we're pulling this recoil back to the left. So we do that by moving the horizontal anti-recoil to the left. So let's move this. Let's try uh, minus 10 because it does go over a fair bit. Okay. Let's try it here. Started to go down. So the vertical is too strong. We can try reducing that. Let's try bringing that back to 15. Uh, still going over to the right as well, so we can try moving this over. Uh, let's try to minus 15. There we go, that's pretty good, but I think we can still make some improvements. If we go back in, um, I reckon the vertical's all right. There was a little bit of movement there. I reckon if we maybe do that. Try this out. There we go. All right, so here I've got the Renetti. It's got the three round burst mod as well. Uh, I've got rapid fire on for this one. Let's see, I've got, uh, what have I got it on? 12 rounds per second for this one. Now let's have a look at the recoil of the weapon without anything on, out any anti-recoil on. I mean, there's barely any anyway, um, but if you wanted to do something, um, you could uh, turn Legacy on. You could probably go maybe uh, Vertical 10, and there, there was no horizontal movement really, so you could probably get away just, just doing that. There you go. Not much of a difference at all. You know, a bit of a tighter spread if you look at the length of them both, but, you know. Not by much, but you know, <laughs> you can you can use it if you want to. Uh, let's look at a let's look at a shotgun. All right, so I've got my shotgun. Going to use the origin for the example here. Uh, I'm going to need that too. So let me just quickly. All right, let's see what the recoil is without any anti recoil on. Okay, goes up quite a fair bit and uh, over to the right as well. So to fix this, let's go into our anti-recoil mods, legacy on, into the settings. It goes up a lot. Uh, so let's start with 30 and it goes to the right a fair bit too. So we're gonna need to bring that back to the left. So we go negative 10 for horizontal. Now let's try that. All right, so I'm still going up and to the right, but nowhere near as much. So we just need to uh, increase these values some more. So let's go back in. Legacy, let's try 40 and let's try negative uh, 20. Since it's still going over to the right quite a fair bit. All right, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, well, we found the limit, that's good. Uh, so if we go back in, um, so 40 is way too much and 30 wasn't enough. So let's go 35 in the middle to try that. If we go to horizontal, negative 10 wasn't enough. Negative 20 is too much. So let's go back to negative 15. Now we try that. All right, still down and to the left, so it's still, the values are still a little bit too strong, uh, but that's gonna be an easy fix. Got some more ammo. Roll that's reloading. Let's go into our settings here. So it's still going down a bit. Let's try putting that to 33. It's still going to the left, so this is still too strong. Let's try decreasing that, let's say minus 13. So the anti-recall isn't pulling it to the left uh, as much. Let's try here.
And there we go. I see a little bit of movement in there, but comparing that to, again, where we started, which has disappeared, fantastic. But you know what it was like. It was up there. Uh, that, that, that is, uh, that's a thousand times better. Okay, so that's how you set up Legacy Anti-Recoil. It is best to use it with weapons that have no scope or only a small reflex, red dot, whatever you want to call it, uh, like the one I showed in the example. Uh, you can use Legacy if you have a VLK scope or similar, uh, but you will get much better results with Progressive. I have a video on my channel that explains how to set up Progressive Anti-Recoil, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. Uh, also, before I finish up, the values I worked out for these weapons today will work for me, but they will not be the exact same for you uh, due to us having completely different in-game settings and many other things that affect the values that you need to work out. So what you need to do is follow the same process that I used today in this video, to work out the right values for you and your settings because they'll be unique to you. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to message me on Discord or you can leave a comment below here as well. I'll leave a link to the Taylor Drift Discord in the description. Uh, you'll be able to find me and message me there. And that's everything. See ya.